Hi guys, Logfog here, and welcome to a tutorial video on, I guess, Pokemon Go. I haven't really decided what the title is going to be for this video, but um, <clears throat> the last video I did was a Pokemon Go tutorial on how to uh, download and play it on your tablet. Uh, and I said that one of the ways which many people have struggled in terms of being able to try to play the game is... Uh, because they said the GPS signal can't be found, and in the last video I told you how to uh, change the GPS, well, change the GPS settings from GPS only, all all the way up to um, all the way up to uh, high accuracy. Uh, that's how it worked for me. But um, there was one or two people though who still, uh, even by switching it to high accuracy, have still got an issue. And the only other way I can find. For you to play the game is well there's there's one in terms of you gotta check the um check you should check your version of Android. I believe you need at least four point four to play um I believe I believe it's four point four to play uh the um Pokemon Go. And and if that's not the case then it might be the mock locations, uh because sometimes it's turned on on sub tablets. It wasn't for mine. Or it might be just for your particular one. So we're in the settings. Um, this is on the Samsung Tab 4. Most settings, if you've got an Android, will look similar to this. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to General. We're going to go down to About Device. Now, the developer options won't be available on most tablets until you've done what you're supposed to do here on the About, tablet, on the about Device. So you want to scroll down this page, there you can check your Android version, mine's 5.0, um, which most of the Samsung Tab 4 should be, because it should just update automatically. And you want to go down to Build Number. Now, on my tablet, the Samsung Tab 4, and other, and probably other tablets um, similar to mine, what you do is you go into Build Number, is that is there any way I can actually just take this off? Does that work? Okay, that just blocks it. Right, okay. Um, right, so you'd go down to build number. You type it. You do seven times, and obviously it says no need. Developer mode has already been enabled. So that's what that's what should come up when I've already enabled the developer options. But what you would do is if you haven't done it, if you haven't got the developer options enabled, you go to build number, you tap it seven times, um, and then the developer options should just come available above it. So this is you can change a lot of stuff. I wouldn't. I haven't really looked into it too much, but you want to go down to mock locations. Now, some tablets uh, apparently have mock locations turned on for whatever reason. Um, mine was that that's just how you turn it on like that. Mine was already turned off. Um, so make sure that all mock well make sure that mock locations does not have a tick, and then you will go off that, and then you'll go on to Pokemon Go. Uh, and if this doesn't work, so if, if you're still having an issue after trying the mock locations, after looking at your version of Android, and after changing the GPS settings, if you can't play the game after that, then I honestly don't know what the issue could be. To be honest, I'm really, I'm really, that's really loud. I'm really struggling to think what the issue uh, then would be because I haven't really come across any of the people complaining about any other issues and trying to play the game they're the only issues that I've um, they're the only issues that I've heard of so in that case then you might have to kind of spend if you really want the game that bad you're going to have to probably spend some money on getting an Android phone I mean th there are options that you can go for there's I think you can get like an Android phone now for maybe £75 maybe £50 at the cheapest um and yeah, that might have to be your other way in terms of being able to actually play this game until maybe uh, Niantic, the developers, I think the developers, until Niantic can, um, I guess, um, try and patch something maybe, I don't know. But um, 
that is going to be pretty much it for this tutorial. I can't really think of anything else to really say. I don't think there is anything else. I think I've practically talked through everything. So, uh, just go through what I've said and uh, hopefully you'll be able to play the game um, without any issues. So, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.